We're going to stereotype a little bit in this video, generalize for the sake of the argument. <clears throat> so now that it's convenient, people who generally, or people on the right, who generally profess to believe that morality is, right, objective, it exists, now they want to be moral relativists and do realpolitik, yeah? So what's that? Well, according to, I don't know, dictionary, Wardnick, the first definition means that it's a usually expansionist national policy. Okay, let's stop there. Talking about Russia, right? Russia's not a nation. Russian Federation, right? It's a amalgam of something like 200 different nations, right? Peoples. So it's not a nation, but if by Russia, right, you mean the Russian people, an expansionist policy, which, you know, is the Russian Federation, what you're talking about is, what you're implying is the erasure of differences, uh, the subjugation of other nationalities and ultimately which is the goal of always been the goal of maybe not any empire but definitely uh, USSR and USSR 2.0 today with the uh, Tsarist flavor one and the same one and the same that's just what Russia that's its legacy that's what it is it's a little bit commie it's a little bit Bolshevik it's a little bit Tsarist uh, People there are brainwashed as fuck, right? So what you're talking about is the subjugation of other cultures and ethnic cleansing, at least to some degree, right? Expansionist national policy, which is why you can't do real politic and morality at the same time, right? It doesn't make any sense, which is why when Mashima, where's where's all the Genius is pinning the nose on the donkey all of a sudden, right? Now that we have Meshima. <laughs> oh, hilarious. Anyway, um, you know, when he's, as soon as he started talking about blame, right? Blaming someone in this, in this conflict, he introduced morality into this, metaphysics. Completely contradicting himself, right? He could have just left it at that. No no need to assign blame, but there it is, right? People pretend to be moral relativists because it's convenient for the sake of the conversation, but deep down inside, in their heart of hearts, they know that morality is. I'm just going to say that, right? Without this objective relative, when I say morality is, that's objective, right? Does truth exist? Right? If not, it's then the truth is relative. It doesn't exist, right? Same with morality. Is or isn't. So when it's convenient, morality isn't. But at the same time, it is. Because in his heart, he's wrong in this case, right? He he, he doesn't know what is moral. He's He's incorrect, obviously. But in his heart of hearts, he understands. And you could say the same about vegans, right? saying that there is no morality, and then virtue signaling. So, Mashima is uh, incoherent. Why would we listen to him? Why? Because it makes us feel good? Anyway, a usually expansionist national policy having as its sole principle advancement of the national interest, right? So, a group of people... A nation subjugating other nations in some way, shape, or form, right? Realpolitik. Two says, pragmatic international government policy concerned with perceived interests of a nation. Um, so, this explicitly tells you that there is no morality, right? Whatever's clever, do as thou will. This is, might is right, right? Morality doesn't exist.
when we do real politics, we don't we're not concerned with morality. So explain to me how is it that people who believe in God are all of a sudden doing real politic, right? Because they're postmodernists. That's why. Whatever's clever, truth doesn't really exist. They've been lying all this time. Or Satan has crept in and got them all messed up and upside down. Anyway, number three states politics based on practical rather than moral or ideological considerations. So all this, you know, bullshit, blah, 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 blah. When it comes to number three, you finally get to the point of what it is, broadly speaking, right? Those were maybe more, the first example was very specific, the second one less so, and the third one basically encapsulates this is probably this probably should have been in reverse, but here we are. Number three tells you exactly what it is, right? Politics based on practical rather than moral or ideological considerations. So when Mashima does real politic and then tries to draw some kind of grand metaphysical conclusions, he's incoherent. Now, getting down to let 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 me step into the Satanistic worldview yeah, of real politic and address something um, that a lot of people on the right seem to believe, right? There's this whole idea that Putin is, you know, in some... I don't, I don't know where, again, this is this is their incoherence because you know, you feel it, whether they say it or not, our intuition tells us this. It's easy to see, right? They seem to believe that in some way, shape, or form, Putin is good. Or he is the lesser evil, which is better, right? <laughs> Completely and utter nonsense, right? Relative morality. Um, I think, speaking of pinning uh, nose on the donkey, I think... Larry David has an episode where he basically, brilliant man, explains uh, the nonsense that is relative morality when he, his doctor, he had some kind of problem with the doctor and the doctor and the dispute between he and the doctor. He doesn't want to pay the doctor money or give him credit for making Larry Fee feel better, right? When and their dispute is Larry says he feels better but not good and the doctor says, "Well, wait, am I getting this correct? I'm forgetting now." And the, and the doctor says, "Well, you're better. That means you're good." And he's saying, "No, no, 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 no. I'm better, but I'm still not good." Right, something. Fuck. Maybe I should rewatch that episode. But anyway, uh, it's very confusing, right? Because people seem to have forgotten that the lesser evil is still evil, right? It's still wrong. <laughs> Duh. This is the problem with when you reject morality. You start sounding like what I was sounding like a second ago. All fucking confused. Anyway, sip of coffee. Mm. Mm -mm. So, there's this idea on the right that Putin is good, right? That's what they think. Let's just keep it real. While doing real politic, which is nonsense, right? But, um, and, and he is good because, you know, he's, his government, Kremlin, they're anti-LGBT, they're like pro-family and and they're more traditional in some sense right and the west is just completely degenerate and so they'd rather get behind someone like putin rather than you know have gays run their society right they're completely and utterly paranoid they've been indoctrinated and psyoped the shit out of right uh these crazy insane lgbt people or blm or whatever the hell you want to call it they're not capable of running anything 
except a psyop. So like that's never gonna happen. It's just it. At least I don't think because that country will just fall apart, right? But but that's the goal, right? I guess. Anyway. So people think that well, Putin is in some way, shape, or form closer to God, right? Which is just inane thinking. And they, they might not admit this, but this is what they think. It's childish because, well, first of all, when you look at Russia, that, that's a completely demoralized country. Of course it is. They have, maybe less so in recent years, but there's still a lot of problems with alcoholism, right? Broken families, violence, stupidity, right? Like, I know these videos of... It's kind of like making fun of Hicks in the United States, but there's been a ton, a ton of videos of, like, Russians doing stupid, crazy, inane things, right? Where, where does that come from? You know, that's that's part of it, right? It's, it's a degenerate culture. It's just different. It's dege degenerated differently, right? 75... I was showing you that study, right, where, like, 75 or, or something, the overwhelming majority of Russians, they want to invade other countries, or they would be okay with that. They're okay with, most of them are okay with using nuclear weapons, right? They're, they're, they're nihilistic, they're, they're degenerate people. They're just, so they don't, like, support LGBT as much. They, they still have that, right? Just not to the same degree, and, and the government doesn't, they don't, you know, support that, openly support it like, like they do in the United States. But the Russians are degenerate too. A lot of them are commies. They yearn for the Soviet Union. Tons of them. They're pro-war. They're pro-killing of innocent people. They, they want to nuke the world. Right? Oh, they're okay with... Like, it's a completely fucking degenerate society. Just like the West. So it's a different flavor of degeneracy. Whoop de doo! How is the whole world falling? Just, just, just not Putin, right? Like, just you guys aren't making any sense. None of you are making it. Well, not none of you, but all, all of you going rah rah Russia, right? Pro Putin, you're, you're degenerate. Like you don't know what, what the Soviet Union is, what that was. He's a KGB agent, former KGB agent. Do you not understand what these people are capable of? You have the Russian Orthodox Church canonizing, right? Canonizing a mass murderer. Which should explain to you the cult, why these people follow the cult of personality. Because a guy that systematically exterminated them, right? He is a saint and this is their culture. These people are degenerates. Now that we got that out of the way... Let's do realpolitik, yeah? Let's just look at pragmatic solutions here, right? Shit that makes the most sense. Do, do we take the side of Russia, that nihilistic society that wants to nuke the shit out of the world, and their, their president is saying, give me, essentially, right, I'm interpreting, give me what I want or I'm going to nuke the fucking world. We're going to have nuclear war. That's what he's saying, right? Do we, do we get behind that, right? We don't speak the language. I'm talking to Westerners mostly, or people who are who live in the West, speak the language, right? Somehow you're like, what's so pragmatic about <laughs> Western, German, English, whatever, speaking people supporting Russia? How is that pragmatic? You can't even communicate with those people. You don't live there. Would you... Uh, uh, even if we assume this realpolitik, nonsensical worldview, you're still incoherent in the, in the way you're, you're behaving. Why? Because you're a degenerate too. That's why. Anyway, right? Let's just be purely pragmatic. We're, we're going to inject some morality because well, I think it's inevitable. But let's be purely pragmatic. Do we get behind a madman who has a complete 
insane Nazi Bolshevik madman supposedly behind him or in some way influencing him, right? Do we do we get behind that? Those people over there who want to invade and nuke the fucking world, right? Or do we get behind the strongest military force by far on the planet? Hmm? Both both are degenerate, right? We speak their language, don't we? Why not get behind people that live where you live, have the same culture you have, speak your language, can understand what it is that you're saying that you want, and have the military might to bring a crazy, insane maniac like Putin to his knees. And China, instead of supporting them and letting them grow, right, funding them, giving them weapons like they have forever, why don't we put the the devil in the cage at the very least? Obviously, what that's going to entail is everybody that speaks the language and understands the Western culture to start remoralizing the culture from the ground up. Yeah, it's degenerate. It's been infiltrated by, oh, guess who? Marxists, communists, Russians. Who, who degenerate? Who played a big part in degenerating American culture? The American people. Who? Well, the French Marxists that came over to your universities and started brainwashing the people. All the KGB agents that infiltrated. I mean, Dugan is on record talking about we, how we need to use movements such as BLM, which is a commie fucking movement, right? To divide the American people and divide and conquer, right? And, I mean, the, the commie invasion, uh, to a certain degree, it was paranoia, but at the same time had a lot of truth to it. Something that U.S. Congress talked about throughout the 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, and less and less and less and less, and less so. There's truth to Russiagate. Of course there is. So, who degenerated the West? Whoa. Commies. Western and Eastern European commies. The the devil found his way into the United States and degenerated that culture and the people in order to to conquer them. So, so we're going to support that devil. They didn't do that damage in their own country. They tried to reverse that damage in their own country, right? Because they know the problems that this sort of ideology brings about, right? So they try to reverse that. Why? Well, so they could have, at the very least, sober, strong men, that could fight, right? Cannon fodder. While at the same time pussifying the, the West and telling boys they, they should be girls, right? It makes perfect sense, right? So if you want to be pragmatic, if you really want to do real politic and show that you have an iota of intellect left, what you're going to do is not get behind that weak devil over there, but you try, you're going to try to reform the devil that's maybe not completely lost yet. And has the military fucking might to stop that other devil once once it realizes that realizes its and sheds its devilish ways. Isn't that the more pragmatic solution, at least for the people in the West? Wouldn't that be real politic? Oh man, people are fucking stupid, lazy, and fucking stupid. Move out the fucking city, grow food, become a part of community, like-minded community where you support yourselves, buy guns, ammo while you still can, and don't shoot it all, save some, right? Get involved in local governments, lobby your politicians. Look up, look up Louis, Louis Rosman here, right? A Jew. Look at the kind of work that he's doing. The, the kind of good that he's doing for, for America.
Why can't more people do that? Every, every, everyone could do their part instead of just virtue signaling on the internet supporting a fucking KGB agent that's threatening to start nuclear war, war and has a whole nation of fucking idiots that will follow him to their death because they're all following Dugan's Nazi, Soviet nihilistic, idiotic ideology. These fucking people want to send them to their death. It's some kind of like ritualistic. I'm not saying Putin's 100% on, on board with all of that. But someone like Dugin. It, it's like this. I mean the fucking guy sings about eating babies. The fuck. Really? Are you really that lost? He wants to. He wants to sacrifice. These people. He, he professes to. To respect yeah right right he just wants to see nukes fly he just wants to see chaos right he's a maniac of course he is anyway would we get we you know being pragmatic westerners all of us right is that what we should get behind i mean if you want to start by fucking learning russian Fake as fuck motherfuckers, man. I'm sick of you.